What the heck, Russia? What are you doing? If you want something, talk about it. Nothing good ever came from using brute force to take something. Come on now. Of course, I'm against the actions that Russia are taking against Ukraine right now, but I feel bad for both parties. Ukrainians are suffering, but equally, I'm sure there's a ton of Russians out there that are feeling bad about the situation as well. I've seen some videos of Russian soldiers that look like they're not in full support of what they're actually doing or they're slightly confused about what they're actually doing there. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a UK business that you might not know is Russian owned. I'm not encouraging you to boycott this business. It's too easy to tar everyone in Russia with the same brush. These people who own this business might be completely against the actions that the Russian government are taking. Shit, if UK people were judged by everything that Boris Johnson did, would be a bunch of bumbling silver spoon fools. So let's not pile in and just assume that these people are instantly in support of what the Russian government are doing. I'm just sharing facts. Uh, so let's get started. The company is Holland and Barrett. HB! Baby. Yes, the people that brought us the penny sale, Cho Yung Tea, and supplier squeezing. They were acquired in 2017 by a Russian billionaire uh, under the group L1 Retail Group for a cool 1.8 bill. L1 Retail is a group owned by Mikhail Friedman or Michael Friedman. Uh, this guy, who incidentally looks more like a secondary grade history teacher than a Russian. In actual fact, Mikhail Friedman is Ukrainian born and was one of the first people to actually speak out against uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So to set the record straight, this guy is actually Ukrainian and in no way does he support what Russia are doing right now. He's actively trying to bring an end to the war by speaking or trying to speak to President Putin. Sounds like a swell guy actually. He does have a checkered past and he's shrouded in controversy. Um, but also equally he's connected to a lot of philanthropic projects and he's uh, devoted to giving most of his fortune to charity when he dies. I'm not here to judge, he's never been convicted of any wrongdoing and the businesses he's involved in are naturally controversial anyway, like mining and distributing fossil fuels. In fact, Holland and Barra might be one of his least controversial business ventures. So there you go, I hope you found this video helpful and you found out that Holland and Barra is actually part Ukrainian owned, part Russian owned, a hybrid, a mongrel, one that gets passed around to different corporate owners every few years. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe by clicking the button below. Remember to hit the bell symbol to receive new notifications of health and wellness videos or random corporate ownership videos like this one. Thanks for watching and let's all hope for peace in Eastern Europe soon.